Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. As you see, I'm still in bed right now. It's early in the morning, but today, today's a very special day. Today, we bring him back to 24 hour challenges, dog. And today, I'm going to let the car in front of me decide what I eat for 24 hours. But I haven't done this video in over a year. But we back at it like a crack addict. You already know how I'm rocking. You already know early morning the crocs got to come out. You already know the vibes, man. As y'all see, I got that Colgate knockout. That jump fights bad breath and all of that. So if you got a bad case of boo-boo breath, highly recommend feel me because this is going to go in it's going to get the job done it's going to mike tyson that shit if you know what i'm talking about let me show you young boys how it's done you feel me look you always want to put on a lot of toothpaste you feel me some of y'all be using little dabs and stuff and you wondering why your breath always smelling like ass bro you ain't using enough toothpaste you trying to be too frugal with it like it's the great depression or something no you got to put extra on that jump and don't forget to wash your filthy freaking tongue. Some of y'all tongues smell like you took your tongue off, wiped your ass with it, and put it back in your mouth. Notice how I'm brushing it in a circular motion. That's how you're supposed to do it. Some of y'all be like this. Brushing like little ass kids. And you wonder why your breath stink, bro. You don't know how to brush your teeth yet, dog. Come on. The little circles are the fundamentals of brushing. You're not doing it right. Wax on, wax off. Mr. Miyagi style. Wax on, wax, wax off. So I'm fresh out the shower and I'm about to show y'all the fit for the day. We gonna throw the little rude shirt on with somebody eating a punani. You know what I'm saying? With these little Nike chumps. You see the Nike got this little pink color right there. Boom. Kind of match with this right here. We gonna throw the rude socks on because it's the rude shirt. Y'all already know the vibe. And let's not forget the polo drawers because they comfy on the nuts. Let's not forget we need a little bit of this. Later on today, I'm going to give y'all a tutorial how to brush your teeth. Check out that video. It's going to be a good video. It's going to be a banger. I'm going to teach funky breath folks how to get that funk away. So normally I start my mornings off with some coffee, y'all. But today we're going to start off a little bit more healthy. Today we're going to go to Tropical Smoothie real quick. We're going to grab a smoothie. We gonna get the same thing as the person in front of me. You already know the vibes. Hopefully he ordering some good shit, y'all. He doing today. So I wanna get the same exact thing as him. Like the same exact way, everything. I'ma let y'all know if his taste buds good or not. Thomas Reggie. You said say it again? Thomas Reggie. Reggie? Veggie. Veggie, that's what he got? Yeah. I'ma get veggie then. All right, y'all. So I'ma wait for him to make the food real quick. You see, we got the same exact thing that he ordered. We gonna see what's up with it. But he didn't even order a smoothie. All he got was food, dog. Like, I'm thinking I'm gonna go in there and get like a torch ass smoothie. He ain't even get a smoothie, damn. Who goes to Tropical Smoothie and not get a smoothie? That's wild. That's like, that's like going to Pizza Hut and not getting pizza. Who does that? Homie paid $10 for a hummus veggie wrap. What a fucking joke. <laughs> you too. All right, y'all. You see what we got. Let's see what's up with this FedEx man meal. Imagine waking up at 8 a.m. and telling yourself, I'm going to go to Tropical Smoothie for breakfast and not get a smoothie. Like, my man got a burrito. So I'm not going to lie to y'all. Based off looks, this joint don't look half bad. And then it's nice and crispy. You see, real crispy. They toasted this tortilla up real nice, y'all. FedEx man might be onto something. Has somewhat a sweet taste to it. I'm not really sure if this is like ranch dressing or not. I see avocados and beans in it, also tomato. It's not bad. I've had worse. I just couldn't see myself going in there and ordering this. Honestly, I would go in there and get like the chicken pesto flatbread or something like that. If you're a vegetarian, this thing is loaded with veggies. What's a great option if you don't eat meat? You know what I mean? But I just ain't getting jiggy with it. Feel what I'm saying? I'm going to give it a solid 6.5, 7 out of 10. Probably would not indulge again. 
I'm still trying to figure out who the hell go to Tropical Smoothie and not get a smoothie though. Preposterous. See, this is the Bama stuff I be talking about, y'all. You see this? It's only 9 a.m. and my pants are dirty as heck. And I don't know why. They were clean this morning. You know what I, bro, it's stuff like this, bro, that just ruins my day. First off, I go to Tropical Smoothie thinking I'm gonna get a bomb smoothie. And I end up with a hummus wrap. And now I got, look like oil stains or something on, on my pants, on my shorts. Stuff like this, bro. Stuff like this. Low tire pressure. And the only reason why I'm blown about this right now is because that wrap got me feeling nauseous, bro. Like, I'm not even gassing it right now. I legit feel nauseous. Most of the time, when you come to these little pumps or whatever, they take coins only. But look, this don't take credit cards. And you can tell they just went up on their price because underneath of this tape, you see it says $1 right here. Now that don't $2.25. $2.25 to put air in your tires, bruh. Crazy to me. I'll tell y'all, this inflation stuff is crazy. So I'm headed to Pan Express for lunch. Not gonna lie to y'all, I'm hungry as hell right now. So hopefully the person in front of me orders some banging stuff, bro, because I'm, I'm starving right now, dog. I couldn't even finish that little hummus veggie wrap because it was disgusting. The first couple bites was cool, like it was kind of sweet. But then I just started getting nauseated, bro. Oh! I ain't going to lie to y'all, I kind of got nervous. I thought I was about to hit that whip. A whole lot of people don't like Panda Express, but they got some eye stuff like that honey walnut shrimp. And that, that thing is like sweet fire chicken breast. That don't be bussing. Up, hey, hopefully he gets some good shit. How you feeling? <laughs> you already know. I'm chilling, dog. How about you? Pretty good. I'm just cooling. Hey, what you what you about to get? I'm about to get some orange chicken, some, some chicken. fried rice, and some honey sesame. Hey, I guess that's what we eat in the day, y'all. Y'all, whole time, we about to review one of my supporters' meals real quick. Hopefully he got some top tier taste buds. You feel me? We gonna find out. Can I get exactly what he got? Same exact thing, yeah. You did he get the dry rice? I'm gonna do the dry rice because he got the dry rice, you feel me? Look, she asked me that I want to wait, y'all. Rice a little old, but it is what it is. I'm eating what he eating. Alright, y'all, let's see if my supporters got top tier taste buds. Hey, what are the odds, bro? I come into this junk, and one of my viewers, bro, I'm about to review his meal. Let's see what's up with it. So first things first, let's read my fortune. I don't eat fortune cookies, they nasty as hell, but I'll, I'll read the fortune. Your place in life is in the driver's seat, buckle up. Hopefully that's a good thing. So he got orange chicken, honey sesame, and he also got a little bit of teriyaki sauce on the side. I never had the teriyaki sauce here, y'all, so hopefully it's good. He said you're supposed to put it on the rice, y'all, I don't know. Orange chicken. Super soggy, y'all. Be completely honest with y'all, this is my first time having the orange chicken and Panda Express. And this don't taste like shit. Completely honest with y'all. Super smushy for one. The chicken just don't got good flavor. Like I told y'all before, I normally get the, the sweet fire chicken breast. Always packed with flavor, got a little bit of spice to it, and it's delicious. But this orange chicken right here, this orange chicken is trash. Now let's see what's up with the fried rice with the teriyaki sauce on it. He said that the fried rice with the teriyaki sauce bust. Let's see what's up with it. Not bad. I normally put soy sauce on mine, but the teriyaki sauce bust. I would put it on it again. And considering the fact that the rice was old and it was sitting, the teriyaki sauce keeps it nice and nice and moist. You know what I'm saying? It lubes it up real nice. Has a decent flavor. This little rice combo with the teriyaki sauce gets a solid eight out of ten. Orange 
chicken though, my man. You watching this video right now, bro? You you wow. Why would you get this? Do you hate yourself that much that you're putting this type of shit in your body? Come on, dog. Let's see what's up with this honey sesame chicken. Not bad. The honey sesame is better than the orange chicken. It also comes with green beans and bell peppers in it. Honestly, y'all, if they was out of sweet fire chicken breast, this would be an option. And the chicken looks different. You see how this chicken's looking? Not a good chicken. Disgusting. Overall, this combo's not bad. It's a decent combination. It's just next time, ditch the orange chicken. Honey sesame gets a solid seven. The green beans taste better than the chicken. It almost tastes like Szechuan green beans. It hit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That honey sesame chicken got better and better every bite. Keep it a band with y'all. Dear supporter, you know, you actually made me proud just now. I mean, you disappointed me with that orange chicken. That orange chicken tasted like gorilla ass, honestly. Zebra shit. That's what it tasted like. However, you redeemed yourself with the honey sesame. I still got the flavor in my mouth, the taste in my mouth, and woo. That junk, man, that junk's delicious, dog. Not gonna lie to you. You know what I mean? I didn't even know they had teriyaki sauce on the side. But you just opened my eyes to that. You taught me something new today, bro. Now I can get teriyaki sauce on the side. I can get it for my kids. You know, you just, you just, you touched my heart. Pause, no gay shit. You know what I mean? You made me proud though. So I'm back in the house, y'all. And unfortunately, I think that's it for today. You feel me? I was going to do dinner, but I decided against doing dinner, y'all. I feel bloated from all the rice I had today. Not gonna lie to you guys. I feel like I gotta take a dump right now. And it's just, I'm skipping dinner, bro. I'm about to go to freak the bed, dog.